Each of these are a half inch thick. This is hot rolled steel. We want to end up with a 5 8 inch diameter hole. Each one's 5 inches long by 2 inches wide. So I went ahead after we got it lined up where we want it. Flat on this surface and flat on this side. Slight difference here, maybe a 64 of an inch. So I went ahead and clamped them tight together. Put a tack weld here and here. Then opposite here and here. And then we'll just grind them off after we get our hole done. Okay, let's go to the drill press. My drill press is the Win 15 inch floor drill press. It is the model 4225. I do not have it bolted to the floor. I have not decided for sure where I want to put it. It is a variable speed. Speed her up. Slight lag in the RPM reading as you can see. And it is two speeds. This takes it up so fast, then you can switch belts. You see the belt suck in? I'll watch it come back out. Pulling her down. There's a little Hall Effect magnet that picks up the uh, speed and puts it on the display. There's a sensor that it goes through. I said switch belts, but I meant you switch the pulley position. Here's where you loosen it up, gain you some space. I've done all my drilling in that position right there. The faster speeds up to 3000 RPM, you, you need to go to the upper pulley here and the upper pulley here. Here's just a glance at the speed chart. I live with between 280 and 1000. I start out with a center drill. My first bit all the way through is going to be about a quarter inch. It's a really good industrial grade cobalt drill bit. One trick I picked up while watching YouTube videos by some master machinists is to leave the table loose. And I just picked up on this not too long ago. I wish I'd have discovered it earlier. But leave it loose until you come on down. You can even watch that table move. That table will actually move into place to a degree. It'll work right. Put a little pressure on the down handle. Go counterclockwise. And while you hold down pressure, I'm going to tighten the table. I'm at 400 RPM. She went through. Okay, we just moved up to a 3 8 inch diameter industrial grade cobalt drill bit. This is in real time, and a good bit just flies through this.
Also, I want to add after checking out a YouTube video, it was from Project Farm. He did a excellent review on all the cutting fluids, and this was ranked really high, so I went ahead and tried it. I've got to be honest with you, compared to just using 5W20 and 5W30 old motor oil and even new motor oil, there's no comparison in this stuff. I've drilled through some one inch thick steel and I could actually take the bit out by hand after using this. It just takes the heat with it and the bits are staying sharp. Gather all this up with the chip collector. This thing is so impressive and powerful. On this hole, I'm going to go ahead and jump from the 3 8 to a 5 8 That might be a mistake. It is just high-speed steel. It's from Merwin. Decent looking bit. And I've been having pretty good luck with these bits, especially when I went to CRC cutting and tap oil. And when I go through the 5 8 I get a lot more chatter. back down to 290 to 300 rpm I want to show you how this chip collector dumps off when you pull the handle. It's kind of neat. I forgot to have it in a recorder last time I did it. All right, now we'll go over see how she dumps. It's got a handle in the back. You pull that handle straight through and it releases the magnet. Now you're ready to go. Okay, we got our hole drilled. Uh, on the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to skip from 3 8 to 5 8 I'm going to go from 3 8 I'm going to find uh, a drill bit around a half inch and go through there. I'm going to add another step into it. I think that's the way to go. You guys might have some different thoughts on that. But if you got any questions on the drill press, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment sections. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.